you looked at some of the problems right now with LLMs and you said, first of all, their cognitive limitations, which you spoke about, the opacity. Sometimes we see these black boxes and we don't know even why the answer is spit out the other end. I don't even think OpenAI knows why those things come out, which is dangerous. And then you talk about these exclusivity and oligopoly. I mean, these things are pretty much run by the big tech firms that we all know and love, whether that's OpenAI slash Microsoft, Google, Amazon, IBM, Tencent. And that's it because they have the money that accesses the bandwidth and the hardware. And we can talk a little bit later, but you know, we might know how that situation plays out. And I think a lot of people are uneasy about that. With Zarka and Singularity Net and everything you've always done, it's always been about openness. It's always been about decentralization. And that's only one aspect that makes Zarka exciting. But that in itself is something that makes me very optimistic <laughs> um, for the future. But on top of that, you're adding in your neural symbolic AI. So you're actually trying to create the intelligence there, not just that repeat engine and that is something very special and when i talked to you privately you said look brian we're the best in the business of this we've been doing this while other people have been focusing on their llms we believe we're leaps and bounds ahead of anyone from understanding how this will become agi and so in some stance OpenAI is getting all the publicity now but you know deep down inside that you have all of the intelligence to just leap ahead of that and create that AGI. Am I summarizing that correctly? That's beautifully okay. summarized. <laughs> exactly. The only difference I would say is we don't know deep down inside, we know outside, we know at every level that we have been building. Ben built the first WebMind engine in 1998, coined the phrase AGI, hardcore seriously brilliant technologists with decades of experience in these in these advanced mathematical techniques which is not just easy to replicate you know people who are watching this this um this beautiful broadcast could say well i'm going to go away and i'm going to replicate this but it's just not possible decades of research can't be replaced decades of experience with these technologies and so we are confident that we are building the technology stack, which is most probable to lead to artificial general intelligence sooner than people think. Yes. Yeah, you're saying within five years or before the end of the decade, which is, yeah, it's very hard to even imagine. Um, and we'll maybe talk about some of the social implications. In addition to what you just said, you also have this super smart contract ecosystem. You, the blockchain's in your DNA and being open source is in your DNA, which is the opposite of what we're seeing in some of these LLMs. I think Elon Musk famously joked that, you know, open AI wasn't open anymore um, and that there wasn't this open source anymore or nor was it a nonprofit, I think is what he said. And we'll get to the letter shortly. But you have this whole concept of humans being able to train this on the blockchain, but there'd be transparency and then an open component so other people can use this technology. Yes, absolutely. Blockchain is in our DNA. We're the OGs of AI in crypto, probably the OGs of AI, definitely the OGs of AGI. So one of the components which I'm, I'm going to move a little into the social arena here with this from technology into social, but it's really very, 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 very useful for AIs and AGIs to be trained by humans. Now, all of the data which they're trained on is human generated anyway, in some way, size, shape or form by one or two or three degrees of separation. But humans are the most intelligent species on the, in the universe that we know of today. We are fantastically amazing. Our ability to learn, our, our ability to grow, our ability to love, our ability to create is unparalleled. So. It's very important for AI and AGI to be trained by humans. And when they themselves are born and they are plotting their own paths, they are very, very likely to want to, to absolutely love the beauty, the joy, the diversity, the incredible creativity of humans. We're the most intelligent species in the universe. We're also very, very dumb, but we're still the most intelligent species in the universe. So back to our blockchain technology, what we will uniquely be doing with our 
neural symbolic supercharged LLMs, large models of, of every kind, is we'll be using blockchain technology to enable anybody and incentivize anybody on the planet to help train models. This means two things. One is that we can have millions of people involved via our blockchain super smart contracts, which are smart contracts infused and empowered by AI. Anybody on the planet will be able to come and help train these models. We'll use our reputation engine to ensure that they're training them in a way that's positive and beneficial for humanity. It also means that when we're deploying them into organizations and companies, it'll be extremely easy for companies to train out the wrinkles in a model and to continuously improve and to continuously keep those models up to date as products change and as customers change and as language changes and norms change and, and society changes. So, so yes, our blockchain ecosystem will also combine with our um, artificial general intelligence and our large neural network capability to make something really, truly, dramatically powerful. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. The greedy bankers are about to do it again. In 2008, they crashed our financial system and nearly bankrupted the entire global economy. Then they received trillions of dollars in government bailouts. And after, they demanded fat bonuses paid for by you, the taxpayer. It turns out the banks haven't just been screwing the American taxpayers, they're also screwing over their investors. Turns out uh, the banking industry is the worst place you could put your money despite enormous taxpayer bailouts. Now the bankers are back to take away your financial freedom. They lie and tell you that cryptocurrency isn't safe. They try to make it illegal for you to choose how to invest your hard-earned money. They lie and say cryptocurrency is used by money launderers and criminals. But look at the record. It's the banks themselves that launder hundreds of billions of dollars every year to the biggest criminal operations in the world. Leaked documents have revealed how some UK banks have helped criminals, money launderers and Russians under sanctions. American authorities discovered that the Sinaloa cartel moved $881 million through HSBC accounts as bank officials turned a blind eye to the illegality. The bankers lie and say cryptocurrency is not a real investment. Meanwhile, the smartest CEOs in the world are buying billions and billions of it. The truth is that banks lie about cryptocurrency because it makes them scared. The banks take $9 trillion per year of your hard-earned money, and they are worried that they will finally be exposed. They're scared because crypto means they can no longer control your money, which means they can no longer control you. They are scared because you might actually understand your money and intelligently decide what to do with it. Now is the time for us to come together, fight back, and take control. It's time to educate ourselves, our families, and our communities. Because financial education means financial freedom. 
We know that cryptocurrencies will help us build the new decentralized financial system of the future. A banking system that is of the people, by the people, and for the people. A banking system where access to finance is a fundamental human right. A banking system that is free and fair and welcomes all humans on this earth. The DeFi revolution is happening. We, the people, can no longer be fooled. We choose to take control of our finances. We choose to take control of our freedom. We choose to take control of our future. Join us and let's take back our financial freedom forever.